Our three cheetah cubs have moved deep into the bushes towards the edge of the reserve. They've got to be careful. This area is crawling with lions and leopards. They could be in for a nasty surprise. Okay. The cheetahs are right on line for the river. If they cross that way, then they're out of the reserve. Okay, they've gone down. Last one standing by the bank. There it goes. Even in the open, they're still very, very cautious, and I'm glad to see that. They're wary about things creeping up on them. And especially when you're drinking, when you've got your head down like that, you are not in a good position. See, just checks over the shoulder. That's part of the benefit of them staying together as a group. Three pairs of eyes and ears. Now the difference is, if they cross the river and then they're outside of the reserve, then they have to have a totally different strategy. They're not just going to be looking for lions and leopards in terms of danger. They are also going to have to keep well out of the way of the Maasai with their livestock. Okay, they're going to have to jump. There you go. And you know who it is? It's one of the girls. <laughs> what a cock up. <laughs> Talk about, you know, hey, do the girls know better than the boys? In that instance, they certainly do. Let's see if the third, third one, if the other girl can do better. They've gone. <laughs> and you know what that means. Moment of truth. Here we go. Okay. This is four-wheel drive time. Okay, let's go. Are you hanging on to everything you need to hang on to? Oh, yeah. And that means everything, including your lunch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Roller coaster time. Yeah. Blind panic. Always does it. Okay, I better concentrate. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What an angle. Okay, let's go for them. 